everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here then Ain't Me Duck. My name is Siobhan and I make videos every single week all about beauty and fashion. So if you like that sort of content then do please subscribe just down below. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. So today's video is a little bit different. So as you can see, I am in my car. I, am, I did ask you on Twitter whether you wanted to see a car tour. So that's what I'm doing. I recently got a new car just because of the fact that my other one ended up being in an accident <laughs> and it ended up being a write-off so that's why I've had to save for another one and yeah I'm happy that I've got another one now because I waited five months to get this car and there was so much trouble to get this fucking car so yeah I'm now glad that I've got it uh, my old one used to be a Citroen C1 it was a 2016 plate I absolutely loved it it's just a like mini city car and I love the fact it was a small car I hated the fact of having a big car like no I'd rather just have a little one um, so yeah I've got a new one now and if you can't already tell it is a Fiat 500 uh, this is Fiat 500 1.2 lounge so it, it does have the sunroof which is amazing but I don't actually I've never I haven't used it yet I've had this car for about just over a week now I thought it was gonna be like different to my old one it's gonna drive differently but actually it's not it's exactly the same this car I absolutely love it it's just what I needed I just yeah I'm gonna show you inside and let go <laughs> this is the inside of my car as you can see it's the black interior so i'll go on to this side first this is the obviously the speed bit that you see when you drive so around here you've got your speed and then here you've got like a rev count thing which i never used to have in my old car um so that is different for me and then here you've got the amount of petrol that you've got in your car and the actual temperature of the um, engine and then you've got how many miles you've done this is obviously a second-hand car, so this came with 36,084 miles on it. There's the time that I had to reset because it like told me an hour later. Um, and then obviously this bit here tells you the radio that you're listening to or the CD that you're playing. Or if you've got Blue and Me um, enabled on it, then it will tell you your network of your phone. This is obviously the degrees that it is outside. And then this bit, if you press this button just here then it will go off but if you press it again it'll come back on and that's to do with the actual steering wheel which i'll talk about in a minute so the buttons down here as well is to do with obviously the headlights and then if you press this as well if you go up you can exit menu daylights passenger bag service all that basically and then down here you've got an air vent just here and then at the bottom let me just show you this we've got electric wing mirrors which i really really wanted because i hate the little i had a, like a little thing that was here on the side of my car wait a minute someone's coming <laughs> and then over here you've got like a little pocket i don't know if you'll be able to see it here's my keys and so there's all my keys on it on the steering wheel you've got a mute button for the radio or cd you've got volumes up and down this is for blue and me so if you connect your phone to it you can talk to blue and me basically it's like siri but it's called blue and me for the fiat this is obviously the horn again i chose the black one because i don't i didn't like the actual like cream one so i chose a black one and then on this side you've got the um up and down changing tracks or radio stations or anything like that this is for when you um are on a phone call with someone i'm not sure what this does but yeah there's that button as well and over here on the back of the wheel steering wheel you've got the windscreen so you can obviously move it upwards to wipe the windows and then i think if you i don't know what you do with this button ah so there's a button at the end it will tell you all different things as you can see it flashing up there so there is a little button on top of there and then if you move on to the other side this is obviously indicators and the headlight as well um, so if you turn it on obviously everything lights up on the dashboard and then over here you've got the radio slash music area so at the minute i've got radio on mute because i don't want to get copyrighted but if you press this button you can change all the radio stations so i've got on here i think it's bbc nottingham you've got capital there's just like a random one kemet fm random one again and kemet fm i think and then this is just the menu and settings for the actual radio and again on this side i like the idea that you can actually switch it off so it doesn't run your battery down whereas in my old one you couldn't do that 
so I like the idea of that but yeah there's the um, radio then obviously you've got the volume up and down mute and then if you click this button it'll go to CD which the CD slot is here then again you've got the ear vents if you pull these down it kind of goes that way or you can have it facing downwards as well again you've got the toggles to how much you want it to blast out at you and then if you go down you've got some more buttons this is for city driving what I was just talking about so obviously when I clicked it off it came off and when I clicked it on it went on it's just basically for the steering wheel so it just changes how light the steering is which I actually didn't even realize when I first picked this car up that I had it on um, until I turned it off last night and I realized how much heavier it feels to drive it without it on so yeah I keep that on now because it's so much easier to drive with you've got the hazard lights which is here and then I think this is to do with the fog lights I'm sure it is I'm sure that's something to do with the fog lights and down here you've got the temperature so obviously cold and warm let me just show you like how much you want it to blast out here again you can click it on and off so it's stronger when you turn it on but if you click it off somebody's watching me again <laughs> right anyway as i was saying um obviously if you click it in it blasts a little bit stronger and then if you click it off it just does it normally this is to ventilate the actual car so this is for if you turn it this way this will be inside the car if you turn it that way it'll be outside the car which i never really understood in my last one but now i do so um yeah there's that one and then down here is the actual bit where you want it to blast so obviously this is your head bit your feet and your head and then this one is just at your feet and then this one is your feet and the um windscreen and then this is the windscreen as well and then here you've got um some more buttons which this is for um demisting the actual windscreen and then this is for start and stop which i don't actually use anyway so and i don't think i ever would because there's no point and you've got the actual wind let me just turn this off you've got the wind mirrors at uh, the windows even fucking wind mirrors you've got the wind windows electric windows which are here which it took me a while to get used to because on my old car that used to be on the doors but now there's electric windows which i'm so happy about because in my old one it was just the piss take um so yeah these are on here which took me a while to get used to but there's obviously my side and the passenger side this is the gear stick which actually i thought would be a bit confusing because my old one used to be down there like that whereas this one is a little bit more up here and um, this is a five gear box and the reverse is there so it's the same as my old one um the only thing is you have to lift up this thing to um put it into reverse which was kind of a little bit hard to get used to um and yeah so that's that bit then on this side obviously this is just white and then it's got like the black thing as well but there's the um 500 then you've got the glove box which in my old one there was like a pull down thing whereas this is literally just open and then there i've just got like cds and just shit in there and then i've got two cloths on the floor which i just use for wiping windows and stuff like that and it's um been raining or it's been snowing which it has recently been and, and i love these speakers these speakers on the side of this car are so much louder than my old one like, i don't have to turn the volume up so much as i did in my old one to actually get somewhere so yeah there's that then um, and then down here you've got like a little pull out thing i don't know if you'll be able to see it but you've got like a little pocket thing there you've got two cup holders down here and um, then you've got like a cigarette lighter thing i've just got my dash coming in the minute you've got a usb port and a aux cord there obviously you've got the handbrake and then you've got two extra cup holes here so on the back of this car oh, there's a bottle on the floor you've got on the back of the seats you've got like a little pocket which in my old one again i never had so yeah this bit's like leather and this bit's like a cloth thing so these are the seats are like a gray i don't know if you can see like a checkered kind of print there we go and it's got like a black rim and then here is just black on the headrest which i love <laughs> i love this one um because i watched a youtube video on this before and then on here you've just got the kind of door bins and whatever on that side nothing special and again it's like on the same of the doors as well you've got the checkered bit and then at the top as well you've got like a, a sunroof so if i pull it see the actual thing which i haven't really used to be fair with y'all um 
So yeah, but you've got that just in case you wanted it. Oh my god, I look like I've been punched in the face. That is the inside of my car. Please excuse me, makeup has been on like all day. Um, so yeah, that is the inside of the car. And then I'm going to show you the outside of the car as well. I also forgot to say as well, the key is a push and kind of ding ding one. Um, so yeah, I like the fact of that. And this is obviously just black. I did get a case for it. But the case don't fit so i'm gonna have to have a look for another one this has the lock at the top unlock at the bottom and then this one is for the boot apparently but i've never used the one for the boot and um, whereas my old one was unlock lock and then didn't have the boot one whereas this one is lock unlock and then boot so yeah and then on my keys i've just got a like keyring of an s obviously for my name i've got this mickey mouse gold one um and silver one which is from primark i don't remember where the s one was from again i've got this one as well which is a mini mouse one which is like kylie jenner kind of inspired i think with the sprinkles as well um and then i've got another mini mouse one if you can't tell then i like disney um so yeah there's another mini mouse one i've got a harry potter one as well and then i've just got the bristol street motor one that it actually came with so yeah there is the key to the actual ting this is the outside of the car as you can see it's the white one it's like an off-white color it's not like a pure white um because my old one was a pure white color this is like an off-white cream color um and then the actual fuel cap itself you have to put your key in to be able to unlock it whereas in my old one i didn't have to do that um, so yeah I'm gonna have to practice with that a little bit and then on the wing mirrors as well you can push them in which is such a relief because I don't like leaving mine out I like to push mine in in case there's always some twat that tries to take your wing mirror off um, and then at the front of the car as well you've got the headlights obviously the Fiat logo and I just think it's dead cute looking um, so yeah and then yeah it's just exactly the same as any other Fiat car, um, obviously this is a 2012 plate, um, so it's not an updated one. Um, in the boot, it's quite spacious, like it's not a massive amount, but it is slightly bigger than the Citroen C1 um, that I used to have. So if you did enjoy that video, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe just down below, and you can also press that bell notification as well, just to get notified on when I upload a video. And if you want me to do any drive with me's or anything like that, then let me know. Because I recently got a little tripod thing. I won't be able to do it on this camera because the camera's like my big DSLR one. But yeah, I'll be able to do it on my phone. Yeah, if you want me to do any drive with me's, then let me know and I'll do them. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.